Hello guys, I'm trying out horses. So this is this cute little Icelandic. His name is Coco and show name caught my eye. I'm looking for an inventor and his gates are not really um, what I'm looking for currently. But he's nice, he's a little small, but that's okay actually, I'm looking for a smaller ride. He did break during the circle though, and that's not that good. Because as an eventer, you go, oh, and he spooked at a bush too, so there's that. And as an eventer, he needs to be able to get over those things. And as you can see, keeping him straight is very difficult, which this is kind of concerning as apparently he's 15, but he seems very young. And his extended canter is very different and not what I'm looking for at all. So I'm thinking even at this beginning that maybe a gated horse breed isn't it for me. And then he took off and I couldn't stop him. So I'm thinking maybe this horse isn't for me, but I was going to try jumping him. Um, maybe see how it is, but right now he's backing up and I don't know why. Because he's spooked, but one, two, one, two, super, cur super swervy up, tried to go to the inside there. Inside like outside rain to keep him out. And then, good boy, that was okay. And then I just get a nice even pace canter, but he keeps swerving a little bit. Oh, and then he does that weird extended trot that I don't want, extended canter that I don't like that much. And then he, he does a normal extended canter, but that gated extended canter is really not it for an inventor. So, um, yeah, that, that is not it for an eventing horse, personally, in my opinion. And on the ground, he was also really rude, so I'm thinking, oh, and he refuses the puddle. Of course, of course, this horse is really not on my good side right now. Again, weird extended canter, not weird, just he's a gated breed, so it's naturally going to happen. And maybe this just isn't what I'm looking for. Oh, and he go gets in the puddle. My boots get soaked. He rears because he spooked at only God knows what. And I collect him. I calm myself. I get him nice and ready. And we're going to try and go over this. As an inventing horse, he's going to need to learn how to go over water jumps. Because on the cross country ring, that's kind of important. Takes off super long. Ends up hitting the jump. But that's all right. All in all, I would say this horse is definitely not my top pick. And I only found two horses that I would like to buy. So here's our last one. This is, um, well, actually, apparently they just call him the Dunn. As he doesn't have a name yet. But he's a really cute little f fjord. And I mean, look at how well he moves. He's a little 13-year-old gelding. And you can tell he's... He's been there, done that a little bit, and he's really, really cute so far. I'm liking him. Really smooth, a little slow, but that's all right. Has a really good canter transition. Canter's a little bouncier, but that's okay. I'm not really concerned about that as he moves nice, and he seems like in shape. Maybe a little chunky, but he circles nice, so that's all right. Um, all in all, he was pleasant. He was also really pleasant on the ground. He did get a little nippity during the girth, but um, I think I might need to find him a new saddle if I do buy him. Yeah, during warm up, he was really, really good. And then our first jump, I count my strides. One, two, one, two, squeeze. Really cute. He had some awesome knees over that one. And then I'm just turning him. He turned really well. Got a little bit stuck in that corner, but that, that just proves I need a little stronger leg. He is really good to this broken. He has some really adorable knees and I'm really happy with how he was riding. I didn't expect him to go over that as that's more of a scary jump, but he went over it really nice. I asked for an extended canter to get a little bit more pace. Again, got stuck in the corner, but that's something we can work on. That's a really easy fix that a lot of horses have problems with. All right, and then I'm bringing him to this massive triple and clears it. Not with room to spare, but he's a really little horse. So I'm really happy with that. He's only 15. He's like barely 15 one. So I'm really happy with how he's doing. I don't know. This 
guy, he's just special. He's a really, really good boy. Um, yeah, I just have him trot a little bit, cool him down. I'm just walking around. He was such a good horse and so pleasant to work with. I'll let you know in my next video who I'm choosing to buy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.